Yeah, so when customers contact me either by phone or through the website, I invest time in each and every job. I'm an RVer first and foremost. I've been RVing ourselves for almost 15 years. We have a fifth wheel. Um, we do nothing but high quality solar battery inverter installations. There's no shortcuts. We use high quality equipment with the appropriate monitoring system. All of our charge controllers have temperature compensation if needed. And it comes down to the quality of workmanship. We're RVers first. We love this lifestyle. We travel the country. We work with customers personally. I help design their system. And the first question I always ask is, how do you plan on using your RV? Again, when somebody says they want RV solar, that by itself doesn't answer the question. I'm not a big fan of those online calculators that some people search for and everything. Um, knowing how the customer wants to use their RV. So for an example, how do we use RV? We travel. We wake up in the morning. We make coffee. We reheat the coffee in the microwave. We might use the toaster. We might use the Vitamix. Then we reheat the coffee again, or we have a latte machine as well. Then I got the TV on. We're watching TV. Then we might go out and be a tourist or something. Then we come back. We're uh, watching TV again, running the satellite, running the DVR. My wife's on the laptop doing her work. I'm on my laptop doing my work. The TV's on again. Then we cook dinner, then we go, you know, and so we live completely normal when we RV, if we, even if we don't have hookups. That type of lifestyle requires a certain amount of amp hours per day. My, regardless if you watch the TV for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, you're running the water pump, the furnace, on average, on average, the typical customer in a typical RV, that means the non-digital touchpad type RV, is going to consume about 150 amp hours a day. Some days it could be 100, some days it could be 200. But on average, I see about 150 amp hours a day. Then you throw on a customer who has a residential refrigerator, there's a nice article on the website about residential refrigerators and what's required, but they typically consume about 150 amp hours a day. So it does come down to math. I really try and get a sense of how the customer is going to use their RV. If, then once I know that, then that requires certain equipment as far as total watts of solar, the type of inverter, and the battery amp hours that you're going to require and whether you need AGMs or lithium. So it becomes a conversation back and forth all the way from the batteries, the solar, the inverter, and we try and build the system to sustain that. Then that will get into how much it's going to cost and does it take two days or four days to install.